Hi friends, welcome to First Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to develop AI agents playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is MCP server. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. Basically, it's a standardized protocol that allows AI models, especially LLMs, to interact with external tools, APIs, data sources in a secure and structured way. So the question is why LLMs has to interact with external tools or APIs or data sources? Because whenever you want to create an agent, you need that, right? So if you have seen my previous videos, agents are nothing but uh, your LLM models plus few tools or functionalities which you want to execute. So if you have seen my previous videos, you know that. Otherwise, uh, for a quick uh, understanding of it, uh, assume you are using a chart GPT, right? So today you can prompt to chart GPT. You can ask chart GPT a uh, few things. Maybe you can say like, um, can you uh, give me the travel plan for Australia? Okay, so maybe I can ask this. It will give the whole itinerary and other stuffs. What hotels looks better? What are the sceneries which you have to go and visit everything? But if I ping or if I prompt to chat GPT saying, can you book the hotels for me? Or can you book the uh, d uh, some tickets to certain uh, uh, scenery places or anything? It will never do, right? It cannot do. Why? Because that is something like a task to perform, right? So, ch L so chat GPT here is nothing but like a LLM. So LLMs cannot perform tasks. It can answer you the questions, okay? But what if, if this LLM can perform the task also? When I say, uh, okay, the travel plan look good, can you go and uh, book the tickets for me, the flight tickets, hotel tickets? If it does, so that's what called agent, okay? So how LLM will get that capability via tools? So somebody has to write the functionality of booking tickets, or booking hotels, everything. And that functionality as a tool has to give to LLM. Then this whole setup is called like agent. Okay. So this we have discussed in our previous videos. You know that. Now we are discussing something called MCP. What is that? Why we are discussing it? So imagine a situation. Um, uh, the tools, what, whenever in the process of creating agents, you created few tools. Okay. So you created around 10 tools uh, for various functionalities. Now imagine uh, some other team or some other project who are also creating agents. They felt the similar kind of a tools or the functionalities they also needed. So they need to rewrite the code, right, for the tools to avoid that dependency. If you can write these tools inside MCP server, then anybody can consume that. So assume that uh, I, I am writing a functionalities for addition and subtraction and everything. So those are the functions or tools. So if you have seen my previous videos in semantic kernel, those are like a plugin functions. So assume I have a addition plugin function. I have a subtraction plugin function, multiplication plugin function, right? If I write in my code where I am developing agent, only I can use these tools. Somebody else will not able to use it. If the same functions I will write inside the MCP server, if I write them inside the MCP server, then when I am generating agent or when I am creating agent, I will hit this MCP and use the tools. Okay. So the, the things will work exactly same. Not only that, the advantage of keeping it in MCP server is let's assume there is another project team called XYZ project. Even they want to create a agent. So even they felt the similar need of addition, subtraction and multiplication. They no need to write that functions once again. They can also hit the MCP server and get their tools back to them. So MCP server kind of help you to centralize all your tools and functionalities and thereby serve the tools to various agents who are developing in your organization or outside of the organization, right? So up to, up to us, right? So, so that's how the MCP servers work. Uh, so now why we are discussing this MCP servers concept is Till this video, we have developed a uh, couple of agents using various technologies. We have developed using AI Foundry SDK, SDK right? AI Foundry SDK. We have developed using Semantic Kernel, etc. But we always write, try to write the functionalities there itself. 
in a foundry sdk we try to write it like a callable functions okay and in the semantic kernel we have written like a plugin function so all this if it is confusing watch my previous videos but never we written these tools inside a mcp server but the standard way of writing it is write the tools in the mcp server thereby use those tools in your uh, mcp uh, in your agents uh, so that way right even other teams from your arc can use the same mcp server when you expose to them okay so if i go back to my one node so think mcp uh, think it like a usb port for ai a plugin port so what that mean is um, so imagine you have a computer right you ha imagine you have a computer so in your computer you will be having something be something like a usb connectors right uh, via that usb you can connect anything to your computer right maybe you can connect headphones to it maybe you can connect bluetooth to it a speaker a camera so the usb port is helping you to connect with the various functionalities and uh, the computer will be getting that functionality once something is connected to it same way imagine your ai or your agent or your llm as a computer the tools the mcp can tools can be connect to the to your ai to give that super extra power so imagine my computer is a llm which can give me the uh, plan to australia trip then i will write some functionalities for booking uh, functionalities for booking uh, tickets and all so i can plug in that via that so, so that's why uh, we are you kind of this usb c comparison right so if you have a usb c a various functionalities can plug in into your computer to make your computer uh, super capable similarly uh, if you have a mcp server tools written to it uh, you can take these tools and connect to a ai uh, or llm to give the super power to the llm okay uh, to make it more productive to make it work for your own functionalities so that is also possible okay so in mcp server there are three things resources tools and prompts resources is like files uh, or databases or apis if you want to serve as a tool yeah the tools means nothing but like a functionalities maybe addition function or maybe a booking a flight ticket function so any function what you write it is a tool prompt is like a predefined instructions template so in agents you will write instructions right so if you want to predefinedly save the templates in mcp you can do that so that is why prompt templates okay but i we will try to create one small tool in this demo and i will run that mcp server and show you so to the below packages are important whenever you want to work with the mcp mcp package uv package mcp cli package and then this is how the code will look like so firstly you will import the fast mcp so that is a class which help you to build the mcp server and using that class you will create a object of it and you will name it like a mcp or uh, that is like your mcp server now on that mcp you can add the tools here like how i am adding it so i am adding only one tool which is addition taking two numbers and performing the addition and finally uh, inside the uh, if name equals to mail main that means when i am running this file uh, i can use this mcp dot run command to run that mcp server so this is a, a fair enough a simple code to create a sample mcp and once you have this mcp server you want to test it right whether any client maybe a ai system maybe a web application something can be able to connect to that mcp or not and able to list down that tools in this case the addition tool or not so for that i we will execute this command uv run mcp dev then your mcp server file name this will open mcp inspector what is mcp inspector imagine like a, a inbuilt web application or a web page given by mcp people that will act like a client to the mcp server so via that web page we will connect to our mcp server and we will see whether we are able to list down the tool the addition tool or not or whether we are able to run that tool or not we will see all that so to demo this quickly i am going to the visual studio code and let me try to open a folder uh, i will navigate to the c drive python folder so let me create a new folder and let me name it mcp so this is the folder where i am going to uh, develop a mcp server so now in this see you see our mcp folder but empty no file so let me create a file so let me name it like mcp server.py so once i have my mcp server.py file this is where i have to write the code but before writing the code let me open terminal 
and uh, let me create a virtual environment here and in that virtual environment i will install the required packages so to to create a virtual environment python space module venv module and my virtual environment name it is my env so let me hit enter so this command creates this my env folder there think it like a your own local version of a computer it is in which a python will be there and couple of required packages you can install there okay so why i am doing it i don't want to disturb the local python or a global python what it is there in my system if you don't know what is virtual environment again uh, watch it from youtube or maybe read it some article you will get it more idea think like a smaller version of a computer that will dedicatedly work for only this project and we will install all the required packages there okay so now here uh, what i am going to do is so my folder is ready so i have to activate it so to activate my virtual environment i need to go to my env then the scripts folder the active so this file i have to execute it so i will run it here my env scripts active so when i run that if you observe it here this tells that right now my terminal is in my virtual environment so now let me install mcp uv then mcp cli so let me install all these packages in this virtual environment once these packages gets install i can write my code uh, but but let the installation happen here i can parallelly also write my code so from mcp dot server dot fast mcp we need to import fast mcp okay so firstly we need to import the fast mcp then we can create a mcp server using this fast mcp class and i can name my server as a demo okay uh, let me remove all this so demo that is enough okay now uh, let's assume i am creating a function called definition uh, uh, add add function which will take two parameters uh, a a parameter and b parameter and perform the integer right so if you see the code that's what i said see x and y both are integer returns integer so and this function i am decorating as a mcp tool so let me decorate it as a mcp tool first then define addition perform addition of two numbers so that's it if you closely observe my function is done mcp tool addition function addition of two numbers this is done so assume i have only one tool now what i will do if name equals to main i will run the mcp server and i will simply print mcp server is running okay so that's it okay so if i see the whole code i imported the fast mcp i created a mcp server i created a tool and here if it is main uh, if the special name special variable is main that means when somebody is running the same file then activate the mcp server and the print it so all good and also if you observe the terminal uh, all my packages installed successfully so let me type cls command now what i will be doing it to run this i will use that command so if i go to the one node uv run mcp dev then this is so when i run this right uv run mcp dev then my mcp server file name so if i run this what will happen this mcp server will get host in my local automatically and a browser will open uh, with a web page that will act as a client to this mcp server and using that client i can text my mcp i mean i can connect to the server i can list down the tools and i can run the tools so let's see that so let me run this command now uh, if anything i am missing if any package i am missing this whenever you run this command you should also see that it will highlight that uh, something is missing pc install so it will highlight it if if it does that then do that now you see that uh, my mcp inspector is running and uh, it opened uh, this particular web page now and this web page is called mcp inspector and this is the same mcp server command what we are using so if you closely observe basically the mcp server is hosted in my local now okay so it is hosted in my local and now i will be connecting to this mcp server so let me go to my browser 
and uh, let me hit the connect button to connect to my MCP. See when I hit it, you see that uh, now my web page connected to my MCP server, uh, which is a MCP inspector page. Uh, and and you, when you navigate to the tools, when you hit the list tools, if the MCP server connection happened correctly, it should list down the tools. In my case, it I have only addition tool, right? So when I hit the list tools, you see that addition tool came. And when I click it, so it is asking me this tool or this function has a two parameters. Will you do you want to supply? So I will supply it. Maybe I will say x value as a five, y value as a three. Then I will run the tool. And when I run the tool. you can see the status is successful and you can see the result also back that means i am able to invoke the function what i have written using this web page so this is for the testing purpose we are using this web page but in reality this can be you, your ai your ai agent or uh, or your llm model right so your llm model will take these tools and execute them when somebody prompt accordingly uh, in the agent mode right so Uh, that's it in this video i hope you got a fair idea about mcp server so please uh, watch this video couple of times if you are not getting because this is very imp important concept in our next video we will try to generate a agent where i will code these tools in inside the mcp and via that agent i will hit the mcp server and take the tools uh, and uh, finally i will come up with that agent uh, so we will see that practically in our next video so i hope you like this video Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.